Hey there, young builders! Get ready for a super fun adventure into the awesome world of structural engineering. Today, we're going to meet one of the coolest parts of any building, the beam. Beams are like the strong arms that hold up houses, schools, and even skyscrapers. There are lots of different kinds of beams, and each one has its own special job. So, let's jump in and check them out. Here we go! First, let's meet the ground beam. Imagine a building standing on little support spots, like strong legs called footings or piles, because the ground is too soft to hold it up. A ground beam is like a long, flat bridge that connects these legs together. It's super important because it shares the weight from walls or posts so no leg gets too tired. It also keeps the whole foundation tight like a big hug and stops the building from wobbling if one leg sinks a bit. You'll see ground beams in buildings with soft dirt or tall frames, and they only touch the legs, not the ground all along. Next up is the plinth beam. Picture where the ground stops and the walls of a building start, just above the dirt. This beam is like a strong belt that goes around the bottom of the walls. It gives the walls a solid place to stand, stops them from cracking if the ground moves a little, and keeps water from sneaking up into the walls. It even pushes back against dirt that tries to shove the building. You'll find plinth beams in houses with walls that carry weight, especially where it's wet or the ground shakes. Now, let's zoom to the top of the walls for the ring beam. This beam is like a crown that wraps around the whole building, usually near the roof. It holds all the walls together like a big group hug, so they don't fall over when the wind blows hard or the ground shakes in an earthquake. It also makes a nice, flat spot for the roof to sit on and shares the roof's weight. Look for ring beams in brick buildings, places with earthquakes, or buildings with big roofs. Time to check out the lintel beam! Every time you walk through a door or look out a window, there's a little beam above it called a lintel. It's like a tiny bridge that holds up the wall over the opening so it doesn't fall down. It passes the weight to the sides, keeping everything safe and crack-free. You'll see lintel beams above every door and window in brick walls. They're small, but mighty. Let's step outside for the spandrel beam. On tall buildings, this beam stretches between posts on the outside, like a shelf that holds up the outer walls and the edges of the floors. It's not just strong, it makes the building look cool, too. You'll find spandrel beams in buildings with frames and fancy outside walls that don't carry weight. Now, get ready for the cantilever beam. Imagine a balcony sticking out from a building, or a roof hanging over without anything holding it up underneath. This beam is like a strong arm that's fixed at one end and free at the other. It's perfect for making cool things like balconies or shade covers, but it has to be extra tough to hold weight at its tip. You'll see cantilevers in balconies, roofs, or even bridges. Next, we've got the composite beam. Picture a steel beam and a concrete block teaming up like best friends. They're joined together to make one super strong beam. Steel is great at stretching, and concrete is awesome at squishing. So together, they can hold up really long spaces without being too big. You'll find these in tall buildings or bridges where you need a strong, smart beam. Finally, meet the pre-stressed beam. This is a concrete beam with special steel wires inside that are pulled tight before it's used. It's like giving the beam a big squeeze to make it super strong. This trick lets it hold up long spaces, stay thin, and not crack. You'll see pre-stressed beams in bridges, parking lots, or buildings that need to be extra tough. And that's our big beam adventure for today. Aren't beams the coolest? If you want to learn more about other building parts like floors, posts, or walls in a fun, easy way, zoom over to structural-engineer.odoo.com. There's tons more to explore, so don't miss out on becoming a building superstar. Let's keep building and dreaming big.